dead clean in conversations Everybody gather round, it's a celebration That we're still standing Big up Katrina, she the inspiration Came up from the bottom, she here with that motivation Here to teach and inspire Help you aim higher, help you dream bigger Get what you desire Real recognize, real iron sharp as iron Let us grow your cleaning business She ain't playing around, yeah, the queen mean business So stick around, get down with a podcast Hold it down, here we go, foot on the gas Candid, clean and conversation all right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Candid, Candid Clean, and Conversations. All right, my name is Mrs. Johnson. And I'm the co-host, y'all, Tamika. How y'all doing? And today, we're going to be talking all about the fact that when you're in the cleaning industry, you can actually work le- work less hours and get paid more money. Cha-ching. All right. <laughs> so what I mean by that is we just left Walmart, right? And I saw a big sign that said, now hiring. And they're paying anywhere between $14 to $17 an hour. Okay? So, do the math on the $17 an hour. It's going to average about $135 a day. That's for eight hours of your time. Okay? But my cleaners could actually make that in less time. Like, anywhere between three, four hours, they're they're making that money. You know what I mean? And the fact that we're, we're onboarding contractors, the taxes don't come out right away. So they're able to leverage their money a little bit more throughout the year, which is just excellent in most people's eyes. They rather would pay their taxes at the end of the year versus having money taken out every month, making it harder and harder to leverage throughout the year <laughs> okay right so right. if you ask me the cleaning industry is the shit i'm sorry it's a whole lot better you have to look at take into consideration y'all you go on a shift for eight hours you work in you got to take a lunch break you got to take your two 15 minute breaks and you still get paid that what 135 but being a contractor by yourself like within our company you can work four hours no lunch break when you get off you off i mean that's like four hours you got to think about it your time i mean you got to get your time back that's the whole goal and on top of that you don't have to worry about someone being hover over you you know being micromanaged and all that extra stuff and you could just work for yourself and then at walmart you don't even like you don't get promoted you know, you do all this hard work to find out that somebody else on the outside, when you got experience, somebody on the outside can just walk in and get your position that you definitely qualify for, but you don't get it. But you in your own world, being your own entity, your sole, your sole proprietor and becoming your own business, you could just elevate to multi, multi, multi levels. You got to think about it, y'all. And I think that how the system is designed is that you're not able to actually actually think about it because all you know is it's a good job and oh i get benefits and all this Mm -hmm. other extra stuff well you get benefits too being your own sole proprietor i mean come on (laughs) i mean i was talking to an old friend the other day and she was like yeah i get paid 17 dollars an hour and no shade y'all we not it's no kind of shade because you gotta if you don't have a business you gotta do something you have to work for somebody right i'm just saying don't stay stuck in that mind frame of you have to work for somebody it's not hard to start your own okay and the cleaning industry is easy as hell to get into i don't know how many videos we got out there telling you guys what you need to do to get started llc um ein number business license uh software i mean you come on it. business bank account come on <laughs> It's not accounting software, I'm sorry, but it's not that difficult to actually get legal and be be able to actually accept those accounts, okay? I think that some people just stand stagnant because all of these years you'd have been working, mm-hmm. you got comfortable, right? you know, and you're relying on that, that check. You just... you. You comfortable, you, you know. You gotta get uncomfortable, y'all. You you gotta get uncomfortable. You gotta do what you haven't done before in order to see the type of money that you have not ever seen before. Okay, I had to get uncomfortable. I remember cleaning houses for like a hobby forever. I was cleaning hobbies. I'm sorry, cleaning hobbies. I was cleaning um, houses with my mom. 
And it was just like a little hobby that we were doing, just trying to get some side money. You know, it, it just took me to have a different mind frame, another different mindset to say, you know what, I could turn this thing into a business and I can actually make more money. Right. Okay. So I'm just saying, y'all, just just have that little mindset shift and think if you are working for these these companies, Walmart or whoever the hell it is paying you by the hour, stack your money up, go out there and get the proper documents that you need to start your own and start looking for your own accounts. Like you will make more money. I promise you. Just and you can start off cleaning your own accounts in the beginning. If you're not, you know, skilled in hiring, I know that's that stuff right there sound easy, but that it shit is not as easy as it these YouTube videos may, may make it seem. Right. Okay. It ain't that easy building a team. Okay, because I'm still working on building my team as we speak. Okay, it's not easy building systems either because we're still switching up our system as we speak and we're trying to grow and get better and tweak as we speak. Right. Okay, it's not easy, but it is well worth it, you guys. Especially if you're a housekeeper. I highly recommend my housekeepers out there to, you know. Just go ahead and turn up a notch. You already cleaning anyway. Go ahead and just clean for yourself. I mean, what? Mm -hmm. You got 30 minutes to clean one room and you got to... <laughs> yeah. You just got to, man, come on, man. Like, after a certain amount of time, it's like, aren't you tired? Like, just come on. Like... I understand we're normal. We're, we're living this normal life, but that's what we got comfortable with. You got to get out of being comfortable with being normal. How about be extraordinary? You know, change your whole mindset. Come on, you guys. Like, you want better for your, your family. You know, you just think about it. All these things that you do every day because you go to work, you have to take care of your family. Well, okay. All right. Do the same thing. Put that tenacity into creating your own business. Come on, y'all. Come on. I mean, come on, man. It just You just got to wake up. But I, you know what I think it is? What? I think people ain't tired enough. Well, I think you're well. When you get tired, you start doing things to change your situation. You know, you start thinking differently when you get tired. I, right? I, I really feel like people don't know what to do. They're, they're good at uh, thinking inside their head. And a lot of people like that pity party. You know, where it's always, I got a story for you. I got another story for you. Oh, well, well, I got another story. Because you notice how certain people, they'll only tell certain people, okay, their sob stuff. They'll mm -hmm. only go to those particular two people. Mm -hmm. They won't go to somebody that, that's going to get in their ass, you know, mm -hmm. because they don't want to hear that because they're comfortable with being the victim. Stop, mm -hmm. stop being the victim. Mm -hmm. I need for you to get out of that because... You have to understand, you're the reason why you're at where you're at. It's not exactly. because of your past. It's not because of anything that's going on. You got to take accountability. I understand what happened to you in your past, but you got to understand, all right, I know what happened, but get over it. I mean, because if you don't get over it, that thing is going to turn into a catalyst inside of your system. And then you're going to be like, oh, like somebody constantly owes you something because of what you've been through. Okay, Miss Rosa Parks, you ain't got to be moved out the bus seat. <laughs> I get it. But come on, get it together. I mean, girl, this, yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right, honey. Because uh, I just feel like some people out there, they know what to do, but they don't want to do it because their asses is lazy and yeah, they don't want to do the work. So we we had this conversation the other day, me and Miss Tamika. We were talking about the fact that um, people may know what to do, but they've gotten real comfortable with their situation. When in the beginning, when I first started, I went through some hurdles, y'all. I went through... I, it's a lot of stuff I went through that I didn't even talk about. Hmm. But I was like, listen, I can't believe I went through all of that. But I made it through because I was determined to study. And some of these people that's coming on talking about being entrepreneurs, I know y'all not trying to study nothing. Right. You know, you you <laughs> want everything to be a given. Mm -hmm. You want somebody just to just give, 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 give. You have to be willing to do the work. So me, when even when I was working a job, I was on I was on a sitting job and I was studying on the job. I had my notebook and everything. And it wasn't just writing notes and not doing the work. I was studying and I was going out the next day and doing the work. Okay. So it's just like I, I tell y'all, it's just like losing weight. People say they I don't know how to lose weight. You know you ain't supposed to be eating no fried chicken all the time. If you want to lose some weight, it's certain things you know you ain't supposed to do. But you still do it, okay? Because you develop this poor habit of eating bad food, 
okay? So some stuff I feel like people know. They know they just they comfortable with their situation, mm -hmm. you know? So if you that comfortable, you don't really want to be no six figure earner. You really want to make a, a million dollars. If you that comfortable, right. you got to get tired. I mean, sick of tired. You I okay. mean, understand you either got to win or lesson. And I can't, I can't fail. I, ha I have to have a win or it's a lesson for you to understand. This is what you cannot do again. Like, Come on, y'all. Like, don't you want to have a better life? I mean, let me tell you something. This this is the thing, Chris. I Miss Johnson, me, you can look at Oprah, you can look at Steve Harvey, you can look at all these people. It don't matter what you're looking at. If you're not gonna change, starting with you, then nothing else. It, it all this stuff that you're doing, looking at, it don't even matter. It's null and void, baby. It don't even matter. It it, it starts right now with you. You know, your best thinking thinking mm -hmm. got you to where you're at right now here today. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just gotta have a, a different mind frame, a different, a different thought process in order to get to the next level. You gotta start thinking big. All right. That's what I did. I started thinking big. And all my while I was thinking big, my surrounding was thinking small. They was looking at me like, what? Uh what? And I'm like, yeah, I I want to be a millionaire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm talking about millions, you know. And they're like, girl, all right. Good luck with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that type of that and type of vibe. That that's a different that's a different vibe and that's another issue, y'all. You get yourself around some positive people because you can't get no advice from somebody who still broke themselves, who's still driving that Chevy. You know what I'm saying? They still driving that Tahoe. You know, you got to walk away from that. If they don't see the how you can elevate yourself, if you know what I mean, like just a little just ooh, perfect example. If you're around somebody, right? And um, you got a booger in your nose. You don't know you got a booger in your nose. However, if that person around you don't say, hey, excuse me, look, you got some in your nose, girl. But they let you walk around all these people and you got this booger in your nose and you you thinking that you look good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you what? just a talk and that, that booger just a daggle in the stomach. <laughs> what a scenario. You know, I'm, I'm just saying the point I'm trying to make y'all is if a person is around you and they trying to they want the best for you that mean they're gonna look out for you mm -hmm. you get what i'm trying to say so if you got some people that's around you who not trying to look out for the best for you then you need to go ahead and dismiss that circle because you need people who... get in some environments man with yeah. some people that's making more money than you i mean we we went to where we had went at this weekend oh my god so shout out um, to uh david shans and donnie Wiggins. social proof <laughs> we went to the social proof podcast um and girl, we had a nice time. But the thing is, we wanted to be around those people that are making really good, good money. You know, making some decent money. We want to talk and socialize with other people, man, and network, mm -hmm. man. We want to get in those in those rooms, Ooh, and that's circles, all man. we doing all this year is getting in those rooms because we got to enhance ourselves. You know, I haven't, I ain't got my multi multi millions yet. Mm -hmm. I ain't got it yet. <laughs> Yo, so I got to keep working. You know, I got to get in those circles. And you have to get in those circles too if you want to improve your livelihood. Okay. So this video was all about mm -hmm. the fact that the cleaning industry, you can make more and work less hours. You actually can. And that is one of the things that I love, 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 love about this industry. You can make more money. Work less hours, all right? Ain't nothing better than that, right. okay? Like, I can't, I don't even think I can go back to working a whole uh, eight-hour shift for somebody else. I can't either. I like my little four hours and go home. Uh -uh. I, I ain't got time to be dealing I done got with used to this. All I got used to this. I got used to having my own time, okay? I like my time, baby, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to wrap this episode up. I hope you guys got my drift on this. Make sure you guys rate this podcast. Make sure you're liking, comment, subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And until the next video, we are out of here. Peace. Peace.